Good morning and welcome back to Carlston Farm. We today are over at the store. We've picked three bags of seed up, hoping that this will get us to the end of the potato planting. We didn't get to the end of it last night, so we're going to finish it off today, get the row ends tidied up and get it rolled. Uh, everything should be fine going forward. So the first part of it is finishing the potatoes, planting. Got three big bags on here. The sandy thing about the telehandler. Not sure how many bags we're going to need to finish, but. We should be close to getting the field done by the time these are used up. That is the oak. We are at the beginning of April now, so... It is... Possibility that the potatoes we've done before are already through. They are indeed. That means we can't roll them, so it's just going to be a case of get these planted and get the row ends tidied up. Get our soles in there. There we go. Get these big bags tipped into here. getting these potatoes tipped in. For some reason, these aren't loading up as they should today. <coughs> so we've got one bag left. We are 84% full. We will... keep this bag for now get this backed off down here see how far we get with the potatoes at the ridge marker down yes indeedy so we will now <coughs> Get these potatoes in the ground. Uh, all this is going to set us back one day. We was hoping to get all these harvested in the same day, so we will bring up the tractor from the outside. Get our souls into the next breed. There we go. <coughs> so there'll be two different growth stages in the field, which possibly not a bad thing.
Uh, yeah, we will. check on the growth state of these. I think we're on growth stage one. Just check. No, growth stage two, so this is growth stage one. So they are Still at the stage where they don't get destroyed if you touch them with a tractor wheel, so they are good. So, yeah, everything I have will be. Planted when you join us back, we will join back with going to the store, picking up the power arrow to get these headlands sorted, tidy the row ends up. We'll use the fence for that job. It's got row crops on, so it won't be too badly affected. Then need to go get some fertilizer sorted out because the potatoes and The other crops will need some fertiliser putting on them. Let's get our soils around there, there we go. too many rounds before we are into the goring rows again. seems to be going reasonably well at the moment. We do seem to want a service on this tractor so it will get these potatoes planted and go in for a service in the workshop. potatoes in and we will see you when we are tidying the row ends up on here.
Okay, we are back. We've got the potatoes planted. We are heading down to pick the power arrow up that we purchased to tidy the row ends up. Get the row ends tidied. We've also got to borrow some money to purchase Field 23. Because it's free on the game, we are going to borrow some money, delete that money out the account, and buy the field that way. So we're not getting a free field. And um, depending on whether we've got time, we may put the drill on, uh, put some sorghum in. Field will need ploughing at some point, but for this year we could manage without that. Depending on what state the field is in. But next time you join us, that will be sorted and we will know whether we're drilling it or just ploughing it over and letting it go fallow for a year. We've got this Kuhn power arrow here we bought. Four metre, which should... Doesn't seem like it folds in any way, so four metres down the road is what we've got. We will get this all done. And that will be where we leave you for today. And then away from the camera we will sort out field 23, borrow the money and delete it using the power tools mod so we can take the money back out of the, the game and buy the field for free. down now to the potato field. Okay, we've got to tidy these row ends here up first. want tidying up so we've got room to bring the harvester out. Another chunk out of that. We'll do it nicely I feel. There we have it. Drop that down there. And that will tidy up those row ends. We need 
did one trip around and then a half trip at the side of it just to tidy the row ends off. <coughs> probably would have been better buying the six meter but uh, yeah, it is what it is we had the money to buy the four meter not the six we are getting very low on cash as well at the moment I think those corner there is pretty much right. Get these row ends how they should be, and we will be ready for the harvest. We are short on money for fertilizer as well, so trying to get a loan off the bank will be a good good move going forward. This end here, once taken across from there, which will just give us enough headland to turn on with the harvester. Some parts here we've gone too close to the headlands by a long way. It is a waste of seed, but at least we get all the potatoes in. Then we shall go with an half breed around, which gives us the six metre between the headland and the main rows. It should be perfect for us for the spraying and whatever else needs doing in between. Getting all of this that's the tell where you power arrow, so that is good. And you see it's one or two places where rows are a little bit shorter than others. That's what we're going to now tidy off. now go round, set our tractor bonnet down there, and 
that will tidy off all of the row ends then. Go out into the countryside where you live and you'll see farmers leaving this dummy headland between their headland and the main body of the field. Once we go around this last part of the headland, that will be where we leave you. We hope you've enjoyed part two of potato headland management and potato planting. Please give us a like, give us a share drop us a comment if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when our content is available until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now